Resto mine Mustang time! Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that is a 1967 Resto Mod Mustang, man. You want to talk about beautiful? She is absolutely gorgeous. And under that beautiful hood is a 580 horse Illuminator motor. Yep, it's the 5.2, guys. She's looking absolutely gorgeous sitting there, man. You want to talk about one beautiful car, one attention getter, this is it right here, man. She is beautiful. Love the colors, the stripes. Completely rotisserie done, that's right. The bottom looks as good as the top. It's got the American Racing GT40 style wheels. And right here somewhere, get a shot of it here in a minute. Those are 335s on the back. Yeah, that's a lot of rubber hitting the road. You need a lot of rubber when you got 580 horsepower. It's got the tilt column in it. It's got the uh, aftermarket gauges right in the stock location. That five-speed shifter in there, center console. We got the roll bar. We got the uh, harnesses here for your shoulders. We got seat belts in the back. The seat um, does not fold back in this because it had to be skinnied for them big old uh, tires to fit underneath there. But she's looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at the stance on her. Look at the fitment back here on everything. The quarter extensions to the deck lid, looking sweet. And look at the fitment on the bumper also. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look how nice and tight that is. Beautiful. We've got the Shelby style turn signals in there, brake lights, looking sweet. You look down the passenger side here, just looking absolutely gorgeous. Now we're gonna put this car up on the lift so you can check out just how beautiful it is. And then we're gonna take a look at that big footprint of those gigantic tires on the back that are about that freaking wide, guys. Now, we own every one of our vehicles here at Vanguard Motor Sales. So rest assured, we've done our homework and checked them out before we've bought them. The first thing that happens to everyone is they go up on the lift and we inspect the car so we can answer every one of your questions. And then we take pictures and do a video so you know exactly what your car is gonna look like when it hits your driveway. Mustang, doesn't it? It's beautiful. 
Now those are aftermarket gauges and that, but they're right in the stock location, just like they'd have been. She's got a nice stereo in it, but of course, the only music I'm gonna listen to is that music right there. beast guys man I love it I'm at a loss for words and that doesn't happen very often now we're gonna take it back to the shop and we're gonna put it up in the air we're gonna show you the suspension we're gonna show you the paint on the bottom of the car and then we're gonna show you that big old meats on the back that's sticking all that horsepower down to the ground all right, we're back at the shop now, 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. And stick with us, because we're going in the air. All right, we're underneath the 67 Mustang now. And man, the workmanship under here is incredible. Look at it. Look at that tank, man. It's all aluminum, beautiful TIG welds, and look at the frame. All painted up looking sweet. We got tie downs here. I suggest you drive this thing. I wouldn't put it on a trailer ever. Now look what they did to mini tub this thing. They've moved that frame in so they can get these big monsters on there. We'll look at those a little closer here in a minute. We got coilovers holding it up. We got a triangulated uh, four link system holding it in there. It's an aftermarket housing uh, here. Uh, it is Ford 9 inch, right around a 340 gear in there. And I tell you what, these frame members are just absolutely amazing. Really, really sharp, really, really rugged and strong. We got the battery cable running up the tunnel here. We got a drive shaft here. It's all aluminum. Uh, it is posi back here too, obviously. Um, you can see the exhaust is tucked up under here real nice and neat for that side exhaust. We got beautiful paint on the bottoms of the floorboards. They did a nice job with the ground effects here. Got them all closed in, looking good. We got the T56 here, six speed, baby. Who knows how fast this car is? Take this thing up to about 8,000 RPM in eighth gear. I don't know, 200, 220, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna go fast. We got two torque boxes in here looking good. Uh, they've uh, got beautiful paint on the frame up here. And look at this cross member, man. The cross member is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like this has all been reinforced looking good. Um, tubular lower and upper control arms, coilover holding it up. Uh, disc brakes up front and in the back. Look at that oil filter right there where you can get at it real nice and easy. It's some nice tie downs uh, for up front here. They take those radius arm braces off and put this really cool brace system in there. Looking good. Not a mark on the nose anywhere here. All looking sweet. Up in the wheel well there, it's all nice and uh, clean. We've got the GT40 style wheels. These are the uh, these are the American, yeah, American Racing. Uh, now these uh, spinners right here, I believe they've got a set screw in them. Yeah, they got a set screw in them. Make sure you loosen that set screw before you take those off. Then of course you take the five lug nuts off. Working our, oh, we've got to look at the size here. Um, two 45, 40, 17s up front. And working our way down to, you can see the painter was not afraid to bend over. He did a beautiful job. They got some, uh, Beautiful uh, fasteners here holding it in. And right here, that's where that baby's gonna talk. That illuminator's gonna be talking to you, baby. Now we got some great looking wheels back here also. These are also, before I say it, these are 18s in the back. These are uh, 335, 3018s. And look at them babies. How wide do you think it is? A foot, maybe a foot and a half? <laughs> Man, that's a lot of rubber on the road. And that 580 horse up there is gonna make these babies smoke. Let's get under the hood. All right, under the hood here, man, we got monster power. We got the Illuminator 52XS, 580 horse. It's got the CJ intake on it, looking sweet. I tell you what, it looks like Ford Motor Company themselves put it in there. I tell you, absolutely beautiful. The firewall's nice. Uh, we've got, does have power brakes. It's got one of those electric power brake setups on it where it comes out of the master and then gets bumped up to that power brake status. Then you can see that's actually the slave cylinder for the, um, or I should say the master cylinder for the um, clutch. Then the reservoir for that's right here also. Then the uh, car also has uh, electric power steering. That's an electric power steering pump. 
Um, she's rack and pinion, of course. Everything under here is looking sweet. The paint job on the bottom of the hood looks as nice as the paint job on the top side of the hood. Uh, we got the overflow tank there for the uh, radiator. Of course, there's no cap on the radiator. That's been sealed up, so your cap is actually over there. Everything on the car is just freaking amazing, guys. Absolutely beautiful. She's fast as grease lightning. She's looking sweet. She's been on the rotisserie. You're going to need to put some mirrors underneath it and make sure everybody takes a look at those 335s when they're trying to catch you going down the highway. Guys, call us, 248-974-9513 in my Vanguard Motor Sales Park District in your driveway.